Good day everyone, my name is Maria Konjelska and this is Poland Daily Culture. In this series of programs I'll be talking to American musician who so much fell in love in Poland that he decided to stay for good. Just last month in November there was a premiere of his musical Letter from Warsaw. Ladies and gentlemen, Gary Goodman. Nice to be here, thank you for the invitation. And thank you for being with us. But before we dig up more of his secrets, at first, let's listen to his music. Gary, you are producing two projects with Sasha Stronin. One is Women in Black, the other one is Self Portrait. You are the producer and you're the author of music and you also perform yourself. And as I've learned, you were the trigger to change Sasha Stronin from her pop career and from very pop commercial music to jazz. How did you manage this? The word that you use, trigger, is also interesting. I think Sasha was ready. Uh, so, so the word trigger is, is, is accurate in the sense that I, I challenged her to focus on what she wanted next. I just simply asked that question. We met by accident. I was involved in a very big project uh, with about 30 musicians um, based on uh, Jerzy Wasowski, uh, Wasowski's music. And as it turned out, the sound engineer uh, at that time in the studio was uh, Sasha's boyfriend. So when she came into the studio, uh, uh, he introduced her uh, to me. And I, I, actually, now that I think about it, my wife and I had met Sasha uh, uh, the year before. This is how this worked. Because her manager at the time was a friend of a friend. So we heard about Sasha, and we had met with Sasha. Um, we had a coffee and we talked, and Sasha was still looking, uh, searching for what next. She had uh, gone back to university, studied photography and, uh, and film, which is another passion of hers, and she's very talented with that as well. And so when I met Sasha in the studio a year later, we went for another coffee, and I said, so what are you doing? What's new? And she goes, well, I'm still not sure yet. And I said, well, would you like to talk about it? She said, yes. And I asked her one question. I said, okay, if you could choose only one style of music that you could perform and could record next, only one, what style would that be? And she thought about it and she said, jazz noir from the 1950s. She said, I grew up watching movies Lauren Bacall and Humphrey Bogart from in the 40s and 50s, the Hollywood style of music, and when jazz was very romantic in those days, and jazz noir was very romantic in the 50s. I said, well, that's very cool. I said, I, I, that's a great idea, and, and I know this, this music is before my time, but I grew up playing Hollywood style music and jazz noir. I mean, I grew up playing it, and I said, um, well, if you're interested, let's work together. So she said, okay. And the short story is we created a project called Woman in Black. And Which is jazz noir. It's, it's jazz, jazz swing, little bit of rock uh, noir. It's kind of a combination, but, but yes, it really followed the pattern. We had tremendous fun with this. This album, she sang entirely in English. It's a great fun album. It's, it was really well done, great musicians, Polish production as well, and uh, very successful. Glad to hear it, I'm glad it happened. And the next one was Self Portrait with Miron Bieroszewski's poetry. And um, just he's so surrealistic. And the question is, his poetry is very surrealistic. He creates lots of new words. He sees the reality 
from a totally different angle. Uh, sometimes a little bit hard to understand, and uh, that's why he's not the most melodic of all of the Polish poets. I would say if you took Tuvim or Mitzkevich, it might be easier. <laughs> but you've chose Białoszewski. And tell me, please, from your American perspective as well, as you needed to learn more about this poetry and this, 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 you know, so his, his way, what did you personally took from this experience? One of the most important things I learned from my mentors and producer icons in the United States is that in order to be a successful producer, you must understand what your artist wants. And that connection has to be really strong. No producer can come in and, and convince an artist of what they should do. It's tried all the time, but, it, but at the end of the day, it doesn't work because the artist usually isn't satisfied and the project doesn't come out uh, as well as everybody had hoped. So when Sasha came to me with some of her favorite poetry, she loved Bialyshevsky. This was her uh, passion. She's a voracious reader. She reads five books a week, all different kinds of subjects. So she and my wife came to me and she said, we want to do an album of Bialyshevsky. And my first response was, do you really want it? Is this a passion of yours? And she goes, yes. And I said, great, because as a producer, that's the first question that I care, the answer to which I care about. The second question is, am I the right person to produce that project? And the more we talked about it, uh, it was a joint decision that I was pro maybe perhaps not the only producer or composer, but that I liked the, the opportunity of working with, uh, with surreal uh, poetry, and when we decided that the music wouldn't be as surreal as the poetry, the music would have more form and more substance, I said, okay, this works better for me, because I, I like beautiful melodies and beautiful harmonies and great rhythmical patterns, and, and the music needs to tell a story along with the text. This is how I came to decide that I actually was the right person to produce uh, the project. It's really important for people who call themselves producers or want to produce to be on the same page, to be in the same mindset with the artist about the project. Producer has to love, has to love the project as much as the artist does. And if, and if those two things aren't in sync with each other, then in my opinion, the project isn't, can't be as successful. I do really think that you gave a form of to be which probably he never thought his pro poetry will ever get. Maybe it became more approachable for a broader audience or definitely totally different and with a little bit different style and you kind of mix things, which, which I think that Białoszewski would appreciate. And I think the, big, the best say that um, certain uh, literature or poetry is durable during time, so it maintains this this challenge of times. It's when other artists take it and rearrange it and remake it. And you did it uh, with Bioshevsky, so you definitely gave him at least a few years or <laughs> of more life for the audience. And that's extremely important, especially that it is a high culture and it's not pop culture. So that's not easy and it also should be done. It has a bigger mass. You're absolutely right. It's very well said. And, and the proof of that is, is that we've had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people come up to us who really enjoyed the concert and said, I'm going to go out and buy a book of Białoszewski's poetry now. And they hadn't done that before. People who perhaps weren't interested in surreal uh, poetry, because it's a small it's a small segment of society that, that likes surreal poetry. Already a very small segment of society reads poetry, so this well, must be even yes. smaller. <laughs> yeah, that, that as well, that's true. And even a smaller segment that reads books at all, okay? So, so there's, that, there's that too. But that was the interesting proof of exactly what you just said, is that people, people have come up to Sasha and me saying, man, 
the music is great. We love the music. And then we say, well, what do you think of the what do you think of the poetry? And a few people would say, well, I don't really understand the poetry. And I said, perfect, That's because uh, that's Białoszewski. But you have an opportunity to listen to it again and again and again. And you'll understand. I mean, this is the process of, of reading and understanding surreal poetry. But they love the music. And I think you're right. I think Białoszewski would have appreciated any kind of music that would, brought, that would bring his poetry to a larger audience. Absolutely. If you think that things are not possible, then took Białoszewski and just put it together and see what happens. It seems that the most extravagant mixed are the best, in fact. And thank you for watching Poland Daily Culture.